Mental health issues are taking center stage after a Lancaster County police officer shot and killed a man who had paranoid schizophrenia. Good evening. I'm Ron Martin. I'm Janelle Stelson. Lancaster City Police is just one of a few departments with a social worker on staff to help officers navigate calls with the mentally ill. WGAL News 8's Meredith Jorgensen sat down with her to learn more about her role. I don't like being cooped up in an office. For Lancaster Police social worker Leilani Tran, the city is her office. It's where she meets, greets, and helps people in need. It's meeting them where they're at. I think that's the most important thing. Meeting them where they're at, it goes a long way. I'm asking how you're doing. Sometimes a simple question is, hey, how are you? She says she can help in a variety of ways. Whether it's where can I go locally to find mental health resources or, hey, my grandmother needs some extra help. I don't know how to go about it. As a civilian employee, she leaves the tough policing to the officers. A lot of the calls that we get, I mean, they can be really unpredictable. Leilani's not meant to respond to emergency situations. She comes in often after officers leave. Once they ensure that safety, bringing someone after the fact, um, I think is always helpful. She walks Bins Park, reaches out to the city's homeless, and connects people in need to the help Lancaster County has available. Just knowing that I was there um, gives me a, a great deal of satisfaction to know that I can touch someone's life. In Lancaster, Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8. Leilani says she has enough of a workload for several more social workers and hopes the program will grow in the coming years.